uh, I'm sorry, I'll be using only English because Professor Tahadir will be giving his uh, lecture in English. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all at the Biblioteca, and uh, I can see some of you are young, so I don't know if you're all students, but hopefully uh, you'll find this lecture very uh, informative and valuable. It's been to 83 countries and 26 uh, cities. This number might seem big or small to some of you, but it only reflects how much he's seen around the world. Um, he's recognized for his work in preserving nature. He cares very much about nature, protecting the rainforests and protecting air and water from pollution. And I think protecting the ozone as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's authored four books, which are basically a collection of his uh, photographic captures of nature in different modes. He's generously donated some of his books to the library and today he's here to give the presentation and give us a uh, donation of his new uh, book. Uh, he's had several awards. He's been awarded a special award at the Institute of Journalism in Ukraine. Uh, he has an honorary professorship by the Institute of Journalism in Ukraine as well. Honorable recipient of the BXP, uh, Prix de la Photographie, uh, the Paris competition 2009. He's a member in 13 associations and societies, including, I'm, I'm not mentioning them all, uh, some of them are the Royal Photographic Society of Great Britain, he's a uh, member of the Harvard Alumni Society, and the National Geographic Society. Uh, I asked Professor Chadha earlier, how would you want to present you to the audience, and he's like, nothing much, but uh, two sentences he mentioned, he is talented, by instinct and by nature, a uh, photographer, and he believes that ordinary people are having more fun than others. So think like an ordinary man. Thank you. <coughs> Salam alaikum. My name is Professor Chada. I am 54 years old, born in India. I have 30 years of experience in photography and 15 years of experience in teaching. It's a great honor to be here and to have your valuable time and I hope today I can teach you all something and I can also learn something from you all. Thank you very much. <clears throat> this is a, a very different kind of lecture that you normally visit, you know, or you hear in university. This is something more uh, proactive, interactive. Uh, so I'm going to come down to your level and talk to you all and try and understand exactly what is it that you all want me to say and I'm going to say it. Uh, I want you all to listen carefully and enjoy what you hear. This is important, so don't sleep very hard, try and sleep less. Uh, well, the subject I'm talking today about is glamour photography. It's a very interesting subject because uh, the very glamorous people in this world and uh, there are some good photographers who like to capture this glamour and present it in the manner that your culture would allow it and would like to see it. According to me, I would firstly like to explain a little theory about what glamour photography is. What according to you does the word fashion mean? Uh, and uh, good uh, lighting is uh, good photo. Anybody else? That's a man's view. What about a woman's view? Yes, I'll come to you. Anything in you is fashion. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, lady? Elegance and poise. Elegance of? Okay. Anyone else? Colors. Colors. Anything else? Traditions. Traditions. Motion of uh, stylism. Motion of models. Models. Okay. A marketing strategy. What strategy? A marketing strategy. Okay. Marketing strategy. Anything else? Okay. Yeah. Um, specific style that appears and uh, become uh, highly uh, spread uh, among the, the, the okay. society. Copycat technology. 
If he has it, I should have it. If yeah. she has it, I should have it. And probably better. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Trend. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not hearing something that I want to hear. Can you think what it is? There's some one word that I want to hear that I'm not hearing here. Yeah? Being creative. Being creative. Anything else? Design. Design. Anything? Style. Style. Okay. We are very near the bullseye, but we're not on the bullseye still. Okay. You said style. Can you tell me what style is? <coughs> is style fashion? Yeah, style. style is? Character style. Character. Yeah. Being different and matching different. Being different. Okay. Jeans. T-shirts from Ralph Lauren. It creates and conditions your mind that you become Ralph Lauren or Levi's jeans and you forget yourself. That is the identity, what and who you're trying to become, what and who you're trying to be. May it be a movie star, may it be a top model, may it be someone in the film world, in the advertising world, or just an ordinary person that you'd like to be. You try and relate your identity to that person. And while doing that, you use these three words, style, fashion, and glamour. Well, <clears throat> I don't see any white-haired people here, so I would say very comfortably that <coughs> in my view, style is what you're born with. No one gives you style. Style is who you are. It's inside you. Style is what God has given you. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you use your hands, the way you eat, the way you move, the tone you talk, it's your style. They teach you alphabets. They don't teach you the style. They teach you manners. They don't teach you style. They teach you etiquette but they don't teach you style. Style is what you teach the world. Style is what you give to the world. Style is not what the world gives to you. Correct? It's my style. I love to walk and teach. Another professor may like to sit and teach. Someone may like to use that microphone. Someone may like to use this microphone. Style is what you give to the world. Style is who you are. Style is your identity. And what is fashion? Fashion is what the world gives to you. Levi's jeans, Ralph Lauren shirts. This is what the world gives back to you, is fashion. So, where does the word glamour come in the middle? Glamour is something in between style and fashion. Glamour is the perception of how you feel in exhibiting your style. You feel happy, you feel free, you're having fun, you're getting bored. What and how you feel is what makes you glamorous. Look, no matter what color shirt I wear, what matters is what's in my heart, not in my shirt, not in my trouser. I am who I am inside, not on the outside. Style is the closest to you. Fashion is what you go out to get, to become, to use your style, to assimilate with an identity. And glamour is how you go about doing it with your style and how you feel about doing it. Michael Jackson, I met him in Dubai a few years before he passed away. He had an amazing style. He 
created a lot of glamour. But he was not a fashion icon. He was a person you could relate with his style. His style of dancing, his style of expression, his style of movement, the style of using his body. And how he did it was with music. But it was his style. It was his soul. It is the same thing with Elvis Presley. It is the same thing with any other fashion icon you want to take. Now, the question is, how do you go about understanding this in a more practical way? 